Hey guys, this is Bharadwaj with Phonorino.com and this is the LG G Flex. We had unboxed it earlier but haven't had much time to play around with this device. It's a really new device, uh, new in terms of technology. There is a lot of new technology in this device and that's exactly what we are going to talk about in this video here. So G Flex, why is it called Flex? Because it's a flexible phone. It is made of flexible components. So let's start with listing down what all are the most important components that are flexible. So on the front you have the POLED display. It's a plastic OLED screen with RGB sub pixels and plastic substrates. That's really, really interesting because this is the first plastic display we are seeing with color and HD resolution. If you can see it up close, it is not exactly perfect. So this has kind of uh, some uh, weird uh, thing going on here that is not visible on LCDs. Uh, it's a weird display, we would say. The plastic is exactly not perfect. So uh, it, it does not deter the experience, but it does look weird sometimes if you can notice, but it's very hard to see in the video, but it is uh, kind of weird in real. So that's the POLED display. It's pretty new and it's flexible according to uh, LG, the display itself is about flexible uh, up to 170 degrees. That's how flexible the display is inside this phone. It's made by a collaboration effort. The whole phone is made out of LG's own collaboration. So LG has a lot of companies inside. LG Display is one company, LG Chem is another company. So all these companies have come together to build this G Flex phone, which is kind of really innovative in our opinion. So, um, yeah, the phone itself is curved. If you have seen from the unboxing, the phone is really curved. By the sides, you can notice that this is curved by the vertical, not horizontal, like the Galaxy Round. We'd say this is almost similar to the Nokia Banana phone that released earlier uh, in the uh, early 2000s. So, yeah, that's uh, uh, LG says that this is contoured exactly to fit uh, your face. So. It actually increases three decibels of volume input to the microphone if you use this phone for voice calls. That's what LG claims. And we think it's partly true because of, of course the microphone does come closer to your face because of the curve. And also it will be nicely fitting in your back pocket, not actually in your front pocket because that's uh, uh, better for the Galaxy round. So anyway, let's uh, uh, quickly turn to the back. The back is also really special. If you had noticed, uh, during the announcement, LG said it has a self-healing back. Now, what exactly that means is that it's made of an elastic material that will automatically heal itself because when you scratch the device, it actually makes a mark on the elastic part which will then contract and expand to make the mark completely vanish. So, we had tried that and uh, had a few scratches here and there, but it's not visible right now. Uh, it's it's almost gone. It's like 95 percentage gone, but it was not instantly gone. It uh, it went away over a period of time. So that's how the self healing works. Uh, some people jokingly call it the Wolverine of the phones, but uh, that's not actually instant. But over a period of time, that uh, actually happens. Also underneath this bag, we have a battery. A 3500 mAh battery. This is made by the LG Chem division and that's also a flexible battery. Now that's why this whole phone is flexible. That's exactly the reason uh, LG has called it G Flex. Unlike just any other curved phone, this is actually flexible. So the battery is actually made using a stacked process unlike the usual solid uh, uh, layers that all the batteries have. So this stacked form factor enables the phone to be flexible without breaking the circuitry. That's pretty cool. So yeah, that's the technology behind the LG G Flex. It's really awesome. So let's quickly test out if it actually works. We had uh, sh showed you a quick demo during the unboxing, but let's have some uh, real flex tests here. So this is the flexibility test one. I'm just normally going to apply pressure over here so that you can see the phone actually really bends. So let's do that right now. I'm going to increase the pressure and see there's a bit of a sound 
here a sound that uh, happens uh, it, it it does make a sound when i flex it but it's not actually a problem you can see that the phone flexes really well so there you go that's flexibility test number one there was nothing wrong with the device you can see it's completely flexible but then you also have uh, other things to show for example you can actually have weights on this phone this is actually a really heavy macbook and the lg actually disappeared but you know you can still see it uh, it does not flex it's not that um, what can i say it it's not that easily flexible it requires a lot of effort to flex and uh, even if you keep any objects on it it does flex but not to an extent unless you put on too much amount of pressure you can see again i'm pressing it using another object a heavy object like the macbook it's still flexing so there you go that's a quick flexibility test um, otherwise we also tried some extreme things like uh, for example flexing it this way you can see that the device will flex according to the way you do it so for example let's bend it this way you can see that the maximum bending that the phone can handle is actually more than the pressure you apply but uh, unfortunately it's very rigid very well made in that aspect and so only up to an angle it does flex not more than that so as you can see now the phone is almost flat so there you go that's the flexibility test of the lg g2 pretty extreme do not try this with your own lg g flex in case you buy it when it comes to india you can see that the flexibility factor has not vanished it's still sitting at the same angle as before so that's pretty good i think the lg g flex does endure everything but what about the scratch the flex uh, the flex healing of the back the self healing rather beg your pardon so as you can see the light is shining you, you can see that there are almost not many scratches on the back so a normal test that we usually do is that uh, we carry it in the pockets and naturally you have keys in the pockets that make an impression on the device usually if your device doesn't have any protection and succumbs to scratches that will be due to one of these so let's try scratching the lg g flex you can see that it does make scratches can you see them uh you can barely see them but you know still make scratches a lot of scratches i'll do them this way because it's more visible when you go against the grain so there you go a lot of scratches here i have done so does it self heal let's see i'm sure i cannot wipe them off these are all Im uh, now impressed upon the elastic back of the lg g flex it does take some time to heal itself so there are a lot of scratches but they will soon go away but under the influence of a little bit of heat so let's quickly rub this on our denims and show you that it does somewhat heal itself under light, light amounts of heat so i just quickly rubbed it on my pants and now you can see that the scratches are still there but largely diminished due to the slight rubbing so this will heal over time and it will completely vanish because we have done this several number of times like for example if we just keep it for 4 uh, to 5 hours it will slowly vanish that's the elastic capability of the back and that self healing so there you go that's the flexibility and scratching test of the lg g2 you can clearly see that it's slowly uh, reducing and it will even reduce more over time so that's about it that's it for the video do let us know what you think in the comment section below do let us know what you think about the lg g flex do you think all smartphones should be flexible in the future let us know in the comment section below we hope you enjoyed this video do hit the like button if you did and do hit the subscribe button if you want more videos like these thanks for watching Thank <laughs> you.